Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today, it's on Mazecraft. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to really easily create custom mazes using a single command. And you can customize the path size, the blocks uh, used. So by default it's leaves, but you can use anything you want. And the height of the maze. So um, if you want to make it harder, obviously make it taller. So um, yeah, let's have a look at this maze I've created. So as you can see, we have an entrance and an exit. So at the exit, you could maybe have a special warp to somewhere uh, or something, or maybe a prize. But um, if we go in the entrance, let's have a look, we can um, have a go at the maze. So uh, the first bit is pretty straightforward. There's no alternative paths, although uh, that way is obviously a dead end. So we're gonna go round here and um, I obviously know the way, so it's it's not this way, this is incorrect. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to get lost going that way. And that goes to a dead end. So uh, I'm going to fly up here and show you the correct way. So if we go up here, all the way across, round this wiggly bit up here, uh, we're going to go round here, wiggle a bit, and then to the left, we're going to go all the way up to the top. We are going to go down a bit along this straight path, wiggle a bit again and then uh, wiggle a bit more and round this corner and we made it. That was easy. So um, that's how you complete a maze if you didn't know. But obviously uh, if you weren't flying about it would be very very tricky. So I'm going to show you how to create um, your own maze. So there is one thing um, you need, obviously world edit, but if you want to create it out of leaves make sure you have 17 or um, logs, oak wood, as your floor. Otherwise it will decay and your maze will be gone. So what we're going to do is uh, have a floor, you can make it out of anything if you don't want to use this, but we are going to uh, left click um, the two corners, so obviously uh, make it a square, and we're going to forward slash maze create. So the next um, value you need is the path size, so by default it's one, you could have two, uh, I wouldn't suggest going higher than that, because um, it might um, make it too small. So let's go with one um, to start with, and then we are going to have whatever block we want. So IDs don't work here, you have to actually type it out. So we could have stone and the height of four. So hit enter, and as you can see, we have a pretty small maze here. Um, and if we do it again, you can see the maze changes each time. So no two mazes are the same, which is really cool. You can do maze undo if you weren't happy with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and try a sand maze uh, that's two uh, blocks wide for the path and we're going to do three height. So as you can see here, it's very, very small, um, very, very easy. You can obviously choose where you want the entrance to be. So I choose here and we could wiggle about a bit and the exit would be maybe here or something. But that would be far too easy. I would suggest making it a lot bigger. Um, so what we're going to do, we are going to undo that and change it back to 1. I feel 1 is the best, it's kind of more realistic. I remember doing mazes um, quite a few years ago actually, corn mazes, that was a lot of fun. Um, but you could just cheat and go through the corn, which <clears throat> I might have done a few times. But uh, yeah, mazes are a lot of fun. Uh, this plugin makes it very, very easy to create them, um, make them random and uh, allowing your players to have a lot of fun just trying to complete them. So that is the plugin, you can download it for free off of Bucket Dev, I think. Um, yeah, I don't think this is bigger, I think this is Bucket for once. Uh, I haven't said that in a while. So that is the plugin, uh, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll be back hopefully in a few days with another plugin.